ISRO's yet another feat. ISRO successfully launched its meteorological Four, satellite three, INSAT 3DS two, from Sriharikota. The satellite will provide accurate and informative weather forecasts and send natural disaster warnings. The satellite is an exclusive mission designed for enhanced meteorological observations, monitoring of land and ocean surfaces for weather forecasting. INSAT 3DS is also capable of satellite-aided search and rescue services. So another feather in ISRO's cap, another successful mission. Clear sky. Four, three, two, one, zero. Plus five seconds. Lift off normal. A perfect lift top. GSLV F14 Plus inside 10. 3DS progressing towards its destination. Stage performance normal. People tracking. Plus yeah, we have seen the four L40 and the core booster ka prajalan shuru ho chuka hai aur GSLV F14. So that, of course, is another successful mission for ISRO. Joining us right now is Shilpa Nair from Sri Harikota in Andhra Pradesh. Shilpa, tell us more about this feat of ISRO's. Uh, well, follow me, quite a joyous mood here at the Sriharikota uh, Satish Dhawan Space Centre. And as, as we speak, uh, ISRO Chairman Dr. Somnath uh, was just briefing uh, the audience there, saying that, you know, the mission has been a complete success. The satellite has been injected into a very good orbit, and the performance so far has been extremely normal. That is what uh, the latest update is as far as the GSLV F-14 uh, uh, mission is concerned, the INSAT 3DS mission is concerned. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, you, when you speak to scientists here at ISRO, they, they, they term GSLV as a naughty boy. Given its patchy record, they term GSLV as a naughty boy. But when the mission director was speaking just a short while back, he, uh, you know, speaking about the success of this mission, he says the naughty boy has now become a mature boy. So a lot of, uh, you know, happy smiles there at the command center. Uh, and in just a short while uh, from now, we're expecting uh, Dr. Somnath to brief the media uh, about the mission and also about the future projects of uh, ISRO. And as far as the importance of this particular mission is concerned. This was uh, the uh, four, 16th flight of the GSLV and the 10th flight with the indigenous cryo stage. Uh, it lifted off exactly at around 5.35 p.m. from the second launch pad at Sriharikota. It took 18 minutes exactly to reach its destination. It was a three-stage uh, process and everything went normally. The operations of all the systems, all the parameters were completely normal and the satellite has been placed into a, a geosynchronous transfer orbit. Now, speaking about the satellite itself, uh, it has been designed to enhance the meteorological uh, predictions. You know, it will help uh, the country in predicting weather patterns and predicting disasters. Uh, so there is, of course, around three to four payloads in the satellite, which will help uh, the, uh, uh, the the meteorological department to identify certain. Uh, you know, aspects of uh, weather uh, environment, it will learn this environment, uh, it, will learn, it will observe the earth patterns, the oceanic patterns, etc. So all this, of course, will be studied extensively and it will augment the meteorological services uh, along with the other InSat series satellites that are already in orbit. So that, of course, is the significance of uh, this particular uh, mission. But as of now, everything seems to be normal and all smiles uh, at the command center here. Shilpa, just uh, stay on with us. Let's Listen in to ISRO Chief S. Somnath. Pratham Charan Me, Core Booster, Tata Char L40 Strap On Booster. I'm very happy to announce the successful accomplishment of the mission GSLV F14 inside 3DS. The space rat has been uh, injected into a very good orbit. Uh, the injection condition is very uh, as expected. And uh, we also noted that the vehicle has performed very, very well. And congratulations to everybody who has been part of this uh, mission, the team that built the Inside 3 ds for the Ministry of Health Science from the satellite centers, and also the launch vehicle teams who built the GSLV F-14 for this uh, mission. My greetings and congratulations to everybody for this accomplishment.